too occasionally. Um, a lot Parker's, of fruit. Parker's not here. He died again. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm joined by Dan. Hello. I'm not dead. No, he's not. Or so, so, Will he so be I've next heard. week? Probably. Who knows? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at any rate, we got to do the housekeeping stuff. If you want to support this channel, you could go to youtube.com slash for daddy's forward. Join as a member for $4.99, $4.99, and you get exclusive emotes. You get gaming time with us. You get loyalty badges. You get switch keys from time to time. It's all cool and fun stuff. You want to play Smash Brothers? Hit me up and say, yo, you want to play Smash Brothers? And I'll be like, yeah, I want to play Smash Brothers. I always want to play Smash Brothers. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, apart from that, just subscribe to the channel, you know. If you're not subscribed to youtube.com slash directly to you, YouTube channel, you listen to this through audio, just subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Um, there's also all the other freaking anchor crap, but just subscribe or join on YouTube. Anyway, what's going on, Dan? You playing games? Uh, <laughs> with whatever little time I have. We're, we're in crunch time now. Yeah, the weather's uh, yeah, and you're like, in the end game now. <laughs> I'm, I'm in yes, we're in the end game now. Um, but I did pick up what have I? So I picked up, uh, Gato Roboto. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna start playing that uh tonight. I'm an uh, influencer. <laughs> yes. Well, I saw it and then and like, I saw the game and I was like, I don't know. It looks fun. Will I be into it? And then you said like, I love this game. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, game's dope. Legit. Yeah. Like I meant everything I said in that tweet. Um the the girl that sends it to me, um mm -hmm. Clara, I think her name is. Um she just like started sending me games like I'm on this like influencer list for whatever uh um influencer relation firm she works for. Um mm. and it just slowly got to the point where it's like, okay, she like exclusively sends dope games. So I have to play this. Like I didn't know anything about Gato Roboto. Um, but I saw it in my email and because she sent me um what Katana Zero, Ape Out, and a few other things, I was like, this is probably gonna be dope. That those are good those are those are good games to get in an email. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. when it's not a thing of like the the normal thing, like with Nintendo, where it's like, "Hey, I want to play this." Um, yeah, but, yeah, I yeah. mean, to be fair, sometimes they'll just send stuff, but usually it's like stuff that I wasn't even thinking about playing in the first place. Um, here, it's like yeah. just a game I didn't know to ask for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm excited. To, I'm excited to play that. Um, it's a good game. Other than that, I've been I've been still on an Overwatch. Kick. I haven't played Overwatch in so long. It's been so I, long. I, I step away from it and then I came I came back like a couple months ago and then I got just really freaking hooked into the competitive aspect of it. But I I'm having a real hard time getting out of silver, so we'll <laughs> so, update on that. <laughs> like it was um so what stopped me from playing Overwatch was I was like in between a, a move when I uh left from Florida. Um, yeah. And my Xbox and my PlayStation was held up at my dad's house in New Jersey in transition. And that just was the case for two years. <laughs> so I didn't have my <laughs> Xbox. Well, I had I didn't have my PlayStation. I bought another Xbox because me and Bob wanted to play PUBG. So I was like, let's just buy it. We're going to buy oh, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. And we just yeah. bought an Xbox and played PUBG and Cuphead. Um, so I had an Xbox between then and now. But now I have both um and i don't have overwatch because it's my Overwatch. well i have overwatch on my playstation which mm -hmm. that's a that's a whole thing i had it on xbox because i bought <laughs> it and then tgn sent me a playstation code because talking about you know, make videos well, well, it was a whole well yeah because tgn wants you to make exclusively overwatch content yes. and blizzard yes. content because that is what they they doubled down on they doubled yep. down on that hard for better or worse <laughs> um so yeah that that happened uh so i have it i just never really get the urge to play it put it on switch and then i'll play it <laughs> um that i can't i i can't play first person shooters on console anymore like okay. i've become such an elitist piece ah, of crap gross. Get off where i'm just like now nah, keyboard and mouse, like, <laughs> I'm not playing it <laughs> it's like oh i'm terrible I know, I know, I'm terrible. Um, so I've been playing a couple of things, which is strange for me. I I go like off and on, like 
I'm like always playing Smash Brothers on some level, so that doesn't really count. Yeah, it's just that's, so just, easy that's to, your default. Yeah, it's just game. easy to like pick up on handheld mode and disrespect people. I mean, they don't even know. They don't even know I'm on handheld mode <laughs> um, <laughs> while I edit and stuff like that. Um, but outside of that, I just randomly, well, it was not completely random. After seeing the announcement for Pokemon Home, I was like, yo. I gotta get my Pokemon Ultra Sun stuff up because that was another thing oh, that, yeah. that disappeared. I don't know where my Ultra Sun copy is, um, so I bought it digitally, um, and mm-hmm. I was like, "I'm playing through this again." <laughs> so I'm playing Pokemon <laughs> Ultra Sun. Uh, it's Pokemon. Not much to report there. You all played it if you played it. Did you finish that game, or is it, you just never finished? Pokemon? No, I fi- I finished that one. I uh, I just didn't. I got to the point where I was going to like the battle tree and stuff. And mm-hmm. I was, I was having, a, I, I wanted to start shiny hunting. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to fill out the Pokedex and then I just kind of ran out of steam. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Like, that's the one thing that is different about this specific playthrough is because the whole reason why I'm playing it is so I can have like this living Dex foundation. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I'm catching literally everything. I'm like, oh, I don't have that yet. I'm catching. <laughs> I never do that. I never do. Like I'll go, I'll get to the Pokemon League and have like 25 Pokemon in my Pokedex. If really? That. Because I'm usually just like, I want that. I'm catching that, and that's it. Like, and then after the fact, I'm like, okay, I beat the Elite Four. Now I'll go through and catch whatever I want to catch to fill out the Pokedex. But that's like. Mm-hmm end game stuff for me like i don't end game care i don't even care a little bit to catch everything it's just the stuff of like oh that's neat i'm gonna catch that you know Um, i'll 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 sit in the in the tall grass and just go around and around and around so i'm like all right i think i have everyone in this area and then i'll move on now the game kind of tells you where it's like you have this percentage of the pokemon in this area so and i think they started that last gen um with like x and y they're basically I, like, there's I, this many Pokemon in this part of the map or whatever. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. For the completionist side of me, I appreciate that. Yeah. So I'm just going to have every Pokemon by the time Sword and Shield comes out. Um, uh, I believe it. That's the plan. Because I, I was already playing, like, because my brother, he always hits me up randomly. He's like, yo, we got to play through this Pokemon game from freaking 10 years ago or whatever. I'm like, all right. Mm-hmm. So I have Pokemon in, like, those gens. Like, I re- the last one we played through was Diamond and Pearl. Um, and then before that was X and Y. And then I think we're going to go to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire after. Mm-hmm. But um, who knows, man? Sword and Shield will probably yeah. be out by the time I'm done with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe you might be just wrapping up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just because it's like, cause, yeah, yeah. Because again, I go through I go through phases where it's like, all right, this week, this is the week where I just play games, you know, like I, yeah. I just get my video out. And that's what I'm going to do. Probably not going to be able to play games the week after this week coming up because yeah. I want to just do E3 stuff where it's basically I want to do multiple videos that week. So I'm not going to have time to, <laughs> to play games yeah. um, except for Smash Brothers occasionally when I'm rendering. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, when, when when you're rendering, you're just like, I need five minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, but other than that, yeah. Uh, Gato Roboto. I've been playing that game's dope. Um, it's like I just got to a part where I, w- I was not expecting that to be a thing, but I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm excited. I, I'm thinking Alyssa is really going to like it too because it, you know, you're you play as a cat, and yeah. you run around and run and that's the, that's the thing that's cool about it because it's like that's a big part of the mechanics too. Like the cat has cat mechanics, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, a cat will be able to do that, and a cat acts like that in this situation, so that makes sense, you know. Um, I'm gonna knock so many things off shelves. It's gonna be ridiculous. at the same time playing as the cat kind of feels bad because the cat, like the um, the suit has like health. Um, yeah, the cat yeah. does not. The cat's one hit, and you're done. <laughs> uh oh. Um, so you ready for that? And there's a lot of situations where it's like um, you'll get walled off where it's like you can't use your suit here because this area is too small and you don't have the weapon yeah, to break yeah. through to get to it with your suit. So you know. Uh, but that's a Metroidvania, so yep, that's how it goes. That. It's a good game. You should play it. Um, but speaking of games that you should play, Dan made a video about I video did. game franchises. Almost all of them, not almost all of them, but almost all of the ones that matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to talk about our list. Uh, Parker did not send me his list because he's a coward. Um, but we are going to talk about Parker's E3 stuff, which that'll probably be the title of the video, uh, E3. So we're going to 
obviously do our E3 predictions, but I want to get the console stuff and then the, the tier list stuff out of the way, and then we'll get to E3, and that'll be like the bulk of the show. We'll get into yeah. you guys' E3 predictions and all that stuff. We're going to probably skip videos for this week. Well, most likely. We're, we're going to skip videos for well, this week. We're, we're, we're kind of time. skipping videos, but not really, because we're talking about my video. Yeah, we're talking about your video, <laughs> but not my video. Um, but not your video. Yeah, no. So we're going to just get in. Let's just jump into it. You know what I mean? Let's just DeFranco our way let's into this podcast. DeFranco it all the way up, Dan. Yeah. But first, let me like clear out some tabs, you know, because I got secret scripts pulled up and whatnot. <laughs> People are going to know next week's video and stuff. Yeah. Well, actually, this video is like that. That's been kicked down the road because it's like I had a video and the Nintendo was like, hey, uh, Pokemon Direct. And I was like, oh, well, I got to freaking change this. Um, yep. So, so that video is just sitting there. But anyways. Now we're gonna look at Dan's tier list. Yeah, hey, look at my tier list. Uh, Maybe it's not letting me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Bang! I believe in you. Bang! The the thing kept closing, like the the, uh, the little thing. Wow! There so it is. Man. We got Dan's tier list. There it is. It's a whole bunch of garbage. Let's uh let's go through it. Let's but, zoom but, in. but let's but let's st still go watch the video, even though it's spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Watch the video. <laughs> Because he gives his well, he's going to give his reason in here too. Just watch the video, put it in one for put it in point twenty five to time, and just let it sit in the tab muted. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, yeah. Give him those watch a minute. Do, um, do, do that for me. All right. So first, let's judge Dan on his never played. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how dare you never play? Is this Zoom working? I don't know if it's working. I can't see. No, it's it's you. working. I I can I, I'm seeing the Zoom. Okay, cool. So Dan's never played Fire Emblem. How nope. dare you? How dare I know. You? I know. You should be I deeply ashamed of yourself. And <laughs> I, you should, I'm telling Nintendo so they don't send you three houses. <laughs> well, maybe they should send it to me and it'll be my first one. Is, no, isn't no. that the thing? Is you want to grab people by the because you're gonna you're gonna play it and you're gonna be like, this is blah blah blah. And they're like, you didn't even play the last one, so you can't judge it. <laughs> um Pikmin. Yeah, okay. I'll give you a pass for not playing Pikmin. Pikmin, yeah. uh, that that would have missed me by if Pikmin 3 didn't come out. And I wasn't just buying everything that came out on Wii U. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, Jet Set Radio. Um, I'm surprised you haven't played that because you're old. Old people like Jet Set Radio. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Read between the lines. Dan means you're 30. Yeah. Um, you're not wrong. Escape. Yeah, this game's trash. You don't need to play it. Sly Cooper. Oh, okay. How dare you not play Sly I, Cooper? I, I have it. Some Do I have it somewhere? Actually, I don't have it. I need to get it. And you're the, the you're trilogy. like, see, this is especially gross because you're one of those PlayStation people, you know? I gonna be a PlayStation people. I know, and not I, even and play, not play Sly. They have four exclusives that matter. Four. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't play one of them. <laughs> I know. Uh crackdown, no judgment. Uh, apparently the first two are good. Uh, but who cares? Dead Rising, no opinion. Dragon Quest, good. Don't ever do it. Far Cry. Oh, okay. How? I don't know how you avoided that. I have no idea. It's it's exactly right up my alley. And I when I got really pumped when they revealed Far Cry three, I was like, oh, that looks like a game I'd really enjoy. And then it came out. I was like, I don't have sixty bucks. <laughs> so I never picked it up. Well, you can always play uh, Far Cry three when Far Cry six comes out because it's going to be the same game. Uh, Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. You never play that because you're a weenie, weenie hut, weenie hut junior. No, that's fine. I I accept. I will never be a Dark Souls fan. After Sekiro, it was terrible. It was a nightmare <laughs> for me. I'm like, do what? I'm not gonna like Dark Souls. I'm gonna have a real bad time. I'll take the L. I'll take the L. That's fine. Gross, gross. Uh, Persona Five. Why did you use it? My question is, why did you use specifically Persona Five? Logo? So, so. Uh, when a franchise really deviated from logo to logo, I took the most recent game. Okay. In there. And so you just because P. You just, I, I could I could have. But like just keyed out the five. It needed to be more I needed something distinct. So yeah. someone making the list didn't go like, what's this P here for? Persona Five would have knew. They would have knew. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh Batman. Uh, I would judge you, but the last one's freaking garbage. Uh, fight me. Uh, <laughs> Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's dope. Tomb Raider's good Uncharted. Tomb Raider I is Tomb Raider is Uncharted if it had gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I started playing the original one. I think I cut that part out of the video, but I originally started, I started the first reboot game mm -hmm. and I was having a really good time with it, but then I got super busy and it was one of those. Oh, uh, I guess I'm out yeah, of it now. Rip, rip, dude. Um, yep. Yeah. I, I mean, that's what happened to me with the, like just the franchise overall. Cause like I was like really into the first one and then the second one, second one came out and it was like exclusive to Xbox or whatever. And I obviously have Xbox and I got mm -hmm. that. And I was like, oh, I'm playing a little bit of this. Um, and then whatever happened. And I was like, okay, I can't play this anymore. You know, and I moved on to the next thing. And once I moved on to the next thing, unless it's Smash Brothers, I can't go back to that. Are you crazy? You went yeah. Um, or Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> which Pokemon moves mountains, man. Pokemon has me playing 3DS, which is like, what? Who does that in 2019? That, that, that is, that's, that's when you know you're hooked. If yeah, it gets exactly. you to pick up the 3DS. Yeah, gross. Uh, Grimhane's gonna judge me in the comments. Uh, so games that make you salty, uh, Space Channel Five. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I think that was in like I played that like because my uncle who's like he's like one of your biggest fans because you like Doom and he also <laughs> likes Doom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're gonna hurt his you're gonna hurt his little heart because oh, he loves no. Space Channel Five. Um, so you just lost a fan. <laughs> well, I look, I understand that there, like there's clearly something to it that everyone loves. I just had a really bad. My first experience was trying to do it in a let's play and it was really hard and it was just it was rough all around. All I, I remember mean, that, from that game is she says shoot a lot. Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's yeah. that's what I remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super Monkey Ball. How though? I, 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 it. Look, I really should have put Super Monkey Ball into the really never played because I only played like the multiplayer version, and the one time I played the game with some of my coworkers when I was at the fines, I got destroyed and I got salty and I and, and I said never again. Oh my god, Tekken! I know. So you just put like all the fighting games in all the fighting games. I'm bad at them. Like. No comment. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just one of the things where if you're not good at the game and people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't get so upset about it. It's just a game. It's like, yeah, but if you're continually losing every time you play the game, it's not fun for you. Yeah, I don't know what it is about fighting games and people salt. Like, I'm just noticing, yeah. like, everybody gets salty in Smash Brothers, you know? Because, like... At first, like, because I don't, like, online just gets less and less fun with random people because they always just get salty. And then I got to, like, then I got to, like, disrespect them. And I don't want to do that, you know? <laughs> I just yeah. want to play the game. But then once people start teabagging and taunting 37 times in a match, I'm like, all right, I got, I have to destroy your life and make you not want to play this game anymore. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know, what is that? I don't get salty yeah. when I'm playing fighting games because for me, it really is that thing of, like, it's a game, whatever. I, I definitely like after playing with you and Bob, I've calmed down a lot when it comes to Smash. Like I'm I'm a very competitive person, but now I'm a little bit more a little bit more tame. I'm just like, all right, we're just dicking around. If if I lose to Bob, I lose to Bob. See, but this is the thing that's weird about the Bob situation. Because yeah. Bob swears up and down that I'm always talking trash. And I'm no, I'm not, you know, like I'm just telling the truth. Like somebody in the chat would be like, oh, AJ, uh, like I never saw AJ play Bob or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll ask and I'll be like, I win most of the matches that we do. Like it's a rarity <laughs> to the point where the whole chat is like, what if I lose this set to Bob? It's very rare. I've probably lost <laughs> like five sets ever to Bob out of the 50 that we played. You yeah. Know? Um, and that's just me telling the facts. That's not me saying like, oh, I'm going to like destroy you, blah, blah, blah. The one time I was talking trash, I did destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got freaking three would or I don't yeah we did best of five he got three would each match was a two stop so like Ooh. I'm just speaking truth you know like I don't know what to tell you um but anyway Forza truth hurts Forza That's why it. does Forza make you salty honestly I do not remember why I put Forza there and I cut that no why I don't remember I think you I, said I, it in the video but I don't remember I think I put it there because I was like. I played it like once or twice and like I got kind of into it. And then again, it was just one of those games where I was like, all right, I haven't played this in a month and a half. I'm glad I spent $60 on this. So I guess the purchase makes me salty. Oh, OK. Yeah. 
That happens yeah. to me a lot. But usually it's the thing of like, well, less so now because like our job is talking about video games. So like it's kind of yeah. just like a, a write off in my mind. Where it's, it's like, a write off now, but it, it wasn't back then. Yeah, 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 that's true. Write it off now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Write it off now. Yeah, because it helped you. It helped you. Like it helped you craft who you are to this day. So just retroactively write that sixty dollars off. Oh, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, that usually happens to be with like when a friend's like, "Hey, get this game so we could play it," and then we just never play it because yeah, that is what happens. Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, I avoided this. Um, not even because like now I'm avoiding it because of you. But yeah. prior to knowing you, it was just like a thing that I was like, I don't care about this. You know, like, I don't understand why people are scared. It, it, there's stuffed animal things. What is so scary about that? Okay. Well, all right. They're animatronics. And to be thing. fair, animatronics <laughs> are scary as hell if you've seen them up close. Seen them up close. What do you mean? Like, have you like ever you been, been the Chuck Like, e. did you ever go to a Chuck E. Cheese? Yes. And, like, go? Yes, I have. And you've never and you never once gone like those are not natural. They need to be burned alive. No, I'm too cynical for that because oh. I know what it is. I'm, I'm like, I know what that is. So, so maybe the greatest defense against FNAF is to be cynical. Yes, 100 percent. That's the greatest defense against any horror thing. Yeah. Any horror thing is. Like, <laughs> yeah. The, the moment that you disillusion everything, we're just like, it's whatever. Yeah. It's like you're just a guy in a suit. Like, get over yourself, you know? Yeah. Well, and that's that. That's part of the thing with FNAF. Like when I first decided I wanted to play it, I was scared to death of it. I I was so it, like it was hitting levels that I didn't like some deep emotional feelings. But eventually, it just becomes task management, and that's all the game is. And yeah. at that point in time, I'm just like, okay, I'm not scared of this anymore. If I get jump scared, I'm just I'm I'm just pissed off because <laughs> now I have to start the whole damn thing all over again. Yeah, it sounds like a, a bad experience. It's uh, not not a good one. And uh, it sounds like to me, you just you put it in this tier for damage control, Dan. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I feel safe being honest here on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel safe. Yeah, I know how it is. Uh, yeah. Even though I'm honest anyway, I don't care. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, we already addressed that. It's because yeah. you're waiting. We need Are we going to go through this entire list? We're, th that's all this podcast is going to be if we go yes. through everything. Yes. Huh? That's okay. what we're doing. Because okay. That's why we took the video out, you know? All right. We're doing it. Do it. It's a tier list episode featuring E3. <laughs> Each featuring E3. <laughs> Alex so, Kidd. Stay tuned. We'll get to it. <laughs> Alex Kidd. Nobody cares, dude. Yeah, no one. Like, is, I, there, I, is there I more own, than one Alex Kidd game? Yes, there's three. I, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, no and the clue. one I have is crap. It's terrible. I only played a little bit of the first one. And that was like not even on a Sega. It was like on one of those plug and play like controller things. Where you plug oh, in the RTA right, table. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah garbage. Uh, so I didn't count it because I, I didn't even know there was more than one game. Uh, mm -hmm. Fable. Yeah, that's there's true. a lot of people that are really upset, but like I'm the fable is, I mean, is it's a constant disappointment. They tout this like it's going to be so great. You're just saying just Peter so Molyneux, much. you should have put his face on this instead of the Faber logo because that's <laughs> yeah. just all his game. Every yeah, he talked he talked a big game. And if he would have talked simple and then had us be impressed, I would have had a much different opinion on fable. But right now. All I'm getting is salt, and Alyssa's giving me the glare of death because <laughs> she loves Fable. Yo, he's the OG. <laughs> <laughs> he's the OG Sean Murray, except Sean Murray was like, wait, but like, let's make the game at least a little bit like what I said it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Echo the Dolphin. Whatever, dude. I don't know why I, you like that game. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I cannot by all means. It makes no sense. The game is hard. It's rough. It's clunky as hell. But I have such fond memories of Echo the Dolphin, and it doesn't make any sense. That's so strange. It's so strange. You're weird. That's um, fine. Okay, F Zero. How dare you put F Zero and C? I think yeah. I put F Zero and C. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was playing F-Zero GX um, to capture some gameplay. And as I was playing, I was like, it's okay. 
I'm going to rapid like, fire through your C because I yeah, let's do it. Yeah, your A it. is like your. I mean, your B makes me furious. Um, I, I bet it does. Uh, Golden Axe, whatever, dude. Jack and Dexter, yeah. sure, fine. Infamous, too high. Little Big Planet, probably too high. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Twisted Metal, certainly too high. Gears of War, wow, I'll allow it. Uh, Saints Row, <laughs> Saints Row <laughs> exists. World of Warcraft, that's some nerd shit. Uh, I'll edit it out. <laughs> I can't edit it out. Rip. Uh, Quake, <laughs> fine, whatever, dude. Fallout, mm -hmm. eh, that crashed. Uh, I played Fallout 4, it crashed, uh, broke my save, and I never went back. I uh, honestly, in both Fallout and Elder Scrolls, I would have put, I would have put lower if it weren't for mods saving the, those games. Yeah, I'm not a nerd, so I don't, I don't, I don't use mods. <laughs> um, the Elder Scrolls, I never played an Elder Scrolls game in my life because it's fantasy stuff, and I couldn't care less about that. Uh, Call of Duty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battlefield, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I think they get too much. Like they, they have a bad rap, you know. Like people being like, oh, they're like bad games. Well, but I think they're good at what they do, and that's why every game in existence copies them in that genre. Uh, yeah. But I just don't care about shooters overall um now b okay i'm ready i'm ready b is where we're gonna fight <laughs> <laughs> you put pokemon in b yeah how dare you that's fine where do you get off putting pokemon in b <laughs> i put and look i enjoy i enjoy a pokemon game but it like it's only interesting me to the point where i own three You're i own stupid. i own I well four. Sorry, I own red, fire red, uh sun no, I have moon and then let's go. That's your problem. Like, You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I don't I, I I don't know. I don't know what it is that doesn't like pull me in. I love going around and catching it, and I think you it's have fantasy star over Pokemon. Only because of Fantasy Star Online. Because that's phenomenal. Fantasy Star Online is one of the best games on what Dreamcast is and wrong GameCube. With you. It's fact. No, it's fact. not. It's fact. You're the Stand new by Parker. My You're the new Parker. That's you're fine. Just, you're just you as dumb. I'll, to I'll top it off too. I had raspberries before the stream. <laughs> <laughs> the worst man. You're just the worst. Speaking of that, I've been eating a lot of oranges lately, you know? If Parker did yeah. anything right. It's make, it's make me remember how great oranges are. Um, if, it, if, he, if anything's happened, it's that I'm eating more fruit and that's healthy. Yes, this is true. Um, Animal Crossing, I'll allow it. But you know what? I'm going to stick my channel on you. You know, I'm going to that's, let, I'm going right, to put this on fine. Snags 4 just so all no, the I Animal just... Crossing. I'm going to not even going to mention E3. I'm going to be like Animal Crossing <laughs> hater for two hours, you know? <laughs> And that's Dan Cyber hates me. Animal Crossing. Yes, exclamation yeah. point, question mark, shot circle face. over my face. Yeah, I'm gonna like Photoshop your eyes so they're huge. Get all yeah. the clips. Uh, yeah, the Donkey Kong and B. Yeah, yeah. Star I, Fox I, and B. That's too high. You're insane. You think Star Fox and B is too high? That's way too high. No, eighty percent of Star Fox games no. are garbage. Star Fox is on the level of Sonic. Some Sonic games are good, <laughs> but the majority of them suck. So therefore, I, Son I mean, Star Fox needs to be lower. No, I do. I, I stand by where I put it. Because you're stand stupid. By where you're dumb. You're an idiot. Splatoon. Th th that's fine. How dare you put Splatoon and B? Splatoon. Okay. Okay. All right. Let, let, fine. Let's let's talk about it. How has been <laughs> how's your matchmaking experience been? Because mine has been absolute the worst mine's been pretty good the only real complaint i have about that is that it's not uh easy to play turf war with friends and that's about I, it but I've, yeah, I, I i've dropped one game ever and it's the one time i played with you but that, that's the but only that, time i've ever had a connection error but ever that is, but that is just, that yes connectivity of whatever i'm talking about like good like well-balanced teams i haven't had it's either i destroy the other team or I get destroyed, and more often than not, it's getting destroyed. It's because you're garbage. <laughs> I am not garbage. <laughs> I am not garbage. I'm not great. Refer back to you garbage. put in Pokemon and B. I think well, that's concrete that proof that you're garbage. <laughs> in Splatoon. All right. 
living trash, you know? <laughs> Whatever. Human garbage. Bayonetta and B. <laughs> Never played a Bayonetta. Give me a life. You're stupid. Uh, <laughs> Sonic and B. What is wrong with you? Sonic. The only B in Sonic is Charmy. That's it. Even the good Sonic games barely get C pluses. <laughs> no, no, uh, the good Sonic games are re- are are really good. Are fine. They're fine. But but I but as we as we talk about this, maybe You're I should realizing how it, I, I, maybe I should have put that as a C. Because <laughs> I'm like ha- like at the moment I was just like yeah it's a B. And now I'm starting to like have like flashbacks. You just playing all the crap. You you're just thinking of Yo, Sonic Mania, you, and you're like, all yes. the games must be Sonic Mania. <laughs> do what? Not. It's it's because I never never went through Sonic 06. Did you play and Sonic I, Boom? Did you play? Sonic I didn't Lost play Sonic World? Boom. Did you play? But all of them suck. Most of Sonic. I don't think is, Lost World wasn't that bad. Lost it World certainly wasn't, wasn't good. good. It, was, it wasn't good. It, was it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It was just existing. No, it was bad. It existed. It, it that, that's all it was. <laughs> you're not allowed to exist. You're not allowed to put out a game that just exists if you're a freaking 30-year-old franchise. <clears throat> that that can't happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Metal Gear, I'll allow it. Okay. Um, medieval, you're freaking, you disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Is there more than one medieval I... game? What? Is there more than one medieval game? I yes, there's two. I had no idea. There's two of them. Yes, there no is. Clue. Are you talking about the remaster? Is that no, no, no? There, there are, there are two. There are two medieval. I didn't know. I didn't know because it's that yeah. trash. Um, Halo, I'll allow it. Um, it's I probably blasphemous good. for a lot of. Uh, I think games. a lot of yeah. I think a lot of people will be upset, but like at the same time, like we can't just all survive off of Halo too. <laughs> People like Halo up until like what? Um, ODST. Yeah. A Reach. Reach is after ODST, isn't it? Right. Um, yeah. Reach. Reach triggered a lot of people. They did not like Reach. Mm. Uh, Final Fantasy. You're dumb. Uh, Monster Hunter. You're dumb. Uh, <laughs> Wolfenstein. I'll allow it. Um, Good. Civilization. You're a nerd. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now A. Mario yeah. in A? Yeah. What? Yeah. Now, Blessing replied to a tier list that we're going to get to after this. Um, yeah. And said something about revoking my gamer pads, blah, blah, blah. What? Mario in A? Yeah. You put Wonder Boy. What is Wonder Boy over Mario? <laughs> I mean, you got... You put so- Jackbox. Jackbox. Jackbox Daniel over okay, Mario. Well, okay, well, if you put it that way, it does make it sound like a mistake. It's a huge mistake. No, it's... Just like okay. I'm finding you are. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the thing, is that Mario got the shaft because it was the first game I ever put into the tier list. Then it, and it I didn't want to been start... S. It should have been S. It was I, S. It's I, S. I, it's not... It's, it's S. It's Can I move this? S. No, I can't move it. No, you can't move it. It's... It's close to S, but it's it's S. What bad Mario game is there? There's Turkey Bacon. What? The turkey the the Turkey Bacon Mario's. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you're stupid. Moving on. That's fine. Um, like I'll, I'll I'll take the hit. I just wanted to put Zelda over Mario. I think that's ultimately what it was. Borderlands being here is gross because like. I played oh, Borderlands, no. and it's to the point where I saw this logo, and I just assumed that I never played it because, like, I don't care about Borderlands, but I played this. I played the second. Borderlands is phenomenal. Borderlands is watered down it's Destiny. So no, it's it not is. watered down <laughs> Destiny. Yeah, it is. It no Destiny. Look, Destiny is a very good shooter, as, and it's got as, deep lore, but it Destiny- does. It, as it Destiny always feels half finished. Had, Borderlands as, has so much personality <laughs> and so much character that was, you're absolutely the, the wrong. Gameplay, the gameplay feels no, like no, we're not, no, no, it's, it's no, garbage. No. Uh, Jackbox, you're insane putting that at S. You're I, I'd I, give Jackbox a V. No, most. no, no, no. The the amount of like times that Jackbox has been like a staple of a party or 
any gathering is so huge. Yeah, but you that's can't like, put it any lower. That's like that's that, that's like this huge argument, or not argument really, but this whole thing that uh, me and Logan talk about a lot, where he's like, like a game will be garbage, like a Dragon Ball Z game. Most of the times is when this comes up, and mm-hmm. Logan's like, yeah, but you could play a co-op, you could play it with your friends, so that makes it a good game. I'm like, no, that means the game is trash, but it's fun because you get to make fun of it with your friends for being trash. Like, the, it but being, that's not what Jackbox is. It, it's not a trash let finish, game. Let me finish. I'm not saying it's trash. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that that game is 100 percent colored by the people that you play it with it's not a thing that's just inherently good because it's not it, it it's it doesn't do a good job at bringing up the lower end of the spectrum like if you well, play with a bunch of people that aren't funny the game's just gonna be boring what that's not necessarily true because like i mean the thing about jackbox is is loads of inside jokes and everything it's you can it got my dad yeah, that's to what laugh. I'm saying. You so, don't like, understand how hard it is to get my dad to right. actually but enjoy what I'm playing is, a game. <laughs> that's dependent on who you play it with. So, like, a huge thing that it's for, influencers, you know, like, that's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. You're playing with your community, and everybody that you just so happen to be playing with is not funny, <laughs> and they're not in on the inside jokes. It's just, like, this happens a lot when we stream it, uh, when uh like me and bob streamed in the past where it's like the a, a huge majority of the people are just saying corny crap and it's like uh this, we're just like taking forever to play through this freaking game i want to move on to the next one and hopefully we get somebody that makes this fun <laughs> uh well i'm sorry that i have awesome people that make my game I'm experience with jackbox so great uh jackbox see i don't take issue with it being here uh, in the, in the same way that I take issue with like you know Kirby being a because that game's garbage, um because Jackbox is good, Kirby's trash, uh Kirby's but Jackbox not, is good. okay it's trash it's trash it's not trash, trash. absolutely not Kirby's trash uh, is Diablo, it the same thing nerd no, stuff nerd that's stuff. fine I, I don't expect you to understand <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. I played approximately 25 minutes of Minecraft across the freaking three platforms I own it on. So can't comment on that. The Last of Us, I'll allow it. God of yeah. War, majority of that franchise is trash. I didn't play the last one. So like, whatever, dude. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I want to do more than press square. <laughs> uh, Wonder Boy, never played it. Um, Zelda, I'll allow it. Okay. Doom. That's some nostalgia BS, and I'm not trying to hear Oh, it. yeah, that's absolutely, that is absolutely biased as hell. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But you got to realize this entire tier list is biased as no, hell. No, 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 no. You're supposed yeah, to be it factual. Is. You're supposed oh, to be factual. Come on, everybody man. knows that. Everybody knows that tier lists are facts. That's why people got so triggered at, at my uh, console thing. Uh, which we'll be <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, wait. There my it computer is dying. I got to plug it in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't even have saw that if I didn't. Well, freaking... I hope you enjoyed this. Delicious... No, it's fine. I had the charger right here because I knew it was okay. dying. Spoilers. Um, okay. Did I have yours up twice? You had mine yeah, up twice. Yours is up twice. Here's mine. What That's the mine. heck? It doesn't even have mine on here. So I got to. No, 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 no. Yours is, yours is right there. It's the fourth. It's the third tab. The third. It's the, it's the third. Oh, tab. there we go. There it is. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now I get to Never judge point. you. Uh, yeah, Never, that's... Ne- and look, here's the thing, is that... Okay, where are you I'm starting? Are you starting top down? We'll, stop, we'll, we'll start... We'll, we'll start here. We'll, we'll do the same thing you did. Wonder Boy, I don't blame you. However, you should play the remake that was done on the Switch because it's phenomenal. Okay. StarCraft. Judging how you think that everything that Blizzard does is just some nerd nerd crap. Except for Overwatch. Overwatch is cool. Except for Overwatch, which is cool. Which, But at the same time, still, not playing StarCraft is criminal. Moving on. Alex the Kid. No <laughs> Alex the Kid. <laughs> Alex Kid. No one cares. Dead Rising. I mean, we're in the same boat. Same with, same with Crackdown. Diablo. Nerd stuff. How have you never played it? Didn't you I play just, it with Bob? No, Bob played it. I just commentated. You and gotta play Diablo, about, dude. We're all nerds. You gotta <laughs> play Diablo. It's... See, I I considered it briefly, but then I heard the dialogue and it sounded like something out of Lord of the Rings, and I was like, I'm out. I'm checked out. I don't care about this anymore. That's criminal. 
That's media. criminal. It's <laughs> criminal. Go go get a copy of Diablo 2, put put it on your computer, play it. Moving on. Five Nights at Freddy's. I envy you. <laughs> <laughs> Medieval, fine, whatever. World of Warcraft. There's nerd crap, there. whatever. Yeah. To the moon is a game that you should absolutely try to find a little bit of time to play. Isn't that like it, a PC game or something like that? It, it's it's on Steam. File it in nerd stuff then. You know? No, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't file it in nerd stuff. You can't take anything that's on PC and file it under nerd sure stuff. Sure I can. I just did. <laughs> oh my God, you're the worst. Uh, but you should, you should play To the Moon. For story alone, it's fantastic. Civ, fine. Yeah. I'll accept that. It's some nerd crap. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, if anything yeah. is nerd crap on this list, it's that. <laughs> it's Civ. Civ is the most nerd thing on here. Moving on. Borderlands absolutely criminal that you have not played it i have i just played the second one and it was trash and that it was not trash. <laughs> <laughs> handsome jack is one of the best villains in trash. all of video games he's yeah, but, such a dynamic and well thought out villain but i'm gameplay first and the gameplay made me want to tear my good. eyes out and let me at let me ask you a question did you play with friends Yes, I played with Logan. Well, your friends. Oh, well, it's Logan. Go ahead, go for it. <laughs> Let us know. Well, that's how Whoa. you really feel. <laughs> Hold on. Was that thunder? That was thunder. Whoa. Oof. Oof. Uh, my power mode might, might go out, so we'll see how this goes. Oof, rip, dude. That was that was brutal. Um. Okay, whatever. Half Life. How have you never played Half Life? Uh, I don't know. Stuff happens. You, you know. gotta play Half Life. That's that's how the adventure FPS as like started was Half Life. All right. Yeah, but next. if you look at my list, not not a lot of them are too high up in the rankings. You know, <laughs> it's it's still it's like it's the same thing of like you should everyone should play Super Mario Bros. Everyone should play. No, Half-Life. you're not allowed to say that because you didn't put Mario in it. Oh, shut up! All right, Persona uh, <laughs> Five. We're in the same boat. Bioshock. How did you miss Bioshock? Um, same thing as Half Life, really. It was just like that. See, Bioshock came out in the generation where I was like not really super engaged for a lot of it. Um, okay, you know, just like eh, whatever, dude. You sh- you should you should you should definitely go back and give it give Bioshock. The only chance any of these games have for me to play them is if, if on it Switch. comes out on Switch. Yes, okay, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because I'm not right. plugging out my Xbox and or PlayStation to play any of this. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. All right, Golden Axe. Fine. Fancy star. Nerd stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nerd stuff. Streets of Rage. Okay. I only played the first one. Or okay. second one. That's... I don't know which one it was. One of them. Okay. Yeah. Wolfenstein. I only played the one on the Switch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll give you a pass on that one. Fallout. My my yeah, I mean, it crashed, yeah. so I'm that's not, fine. Never Monster me. Hunter. Monster Hunter is one you should play more of. Not and not, not, not World. Okay. I think try one of the other ones because I world did a lot of good like quality of life changes but they're only quality of life changes you appreciate if you play um, if you play if you've played the game and even then the multiplayer for world is just so messed up it's yeah. so yep. it's so weird what they wanted to do with it and it didn't make sense put a new the one other on ones switch, and then maybe i'll play it who knows yeah but they have one on switch no put a new one on switch i'm not playing i'll it. put a new one Port of a port of a 3ds port, you know. All right, fine. Jet Set Radio, fine, whatever. Echo the Dolphin, don't blame you. Far Cry, <laughs> we're in the same boat. Metal Gear, only played Metal Gear Solid Five. That's dope. I hear that the rest of them are not like that, and because oh I see no, how that was they're is, completely I'm different. Not down, I'm not down because the only thing <laughs> I liked about that, or not liked, I wouldn't say liked. The only thing I cared about in that game was the gameplay. Don't care even a little bit about the story. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> I don't care. It, I'm checked out. But you started with the fifth one. Of course, it didn't make any sense to you. That's one of yeah, the few franchises the, you need to pay attention to the entire series. Anything Kojima is not going to make sense to me. I'm letting you know now. Spoilers. That's, that's true. That's true. Uh, Elder Scrolls. Nerd fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're the freaking <laughs> Don't care enough. Battlefield and Call of Duty. Sure, I get that. God of War. You need to play the new one. Yeah, I heard. Um, you, you need Bob to. actually talked me out of that because um, I was like, uh, I was like, I gotta play this because everybody's talking about it, and I gotta at least try those games, you know, like the the yeah. watercolor moments and stuff like that. I gotta at least try it. Um, yeah. But then Bob was like, "You're not gonna finish this game." And the last time Bob 
said that I was going to finish a game. It was The Witcher 3, and I bought it just to be like, oh, everybody's talking about this game. He's like, you're not going to finish that. And I was like, I'm going to finish it. Um, and I, didn't, I, finish I it. didn't. I didn't even get past the tutorial. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, I you know, right. God of War can take a while if you're going for more completionist stuff, but if you're just going to go through the game, <laughs> if you're going to go through the game, it's going to be a good time. It's yeah. it's 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 really well done. Mm-hmm. Batman, fine. We're kind of in the same boat. Space yeah, Channel Batman 5, goes stupid. Fine. Ratchet and Clank, you've got to care the, a little. I played the PlayStation remaster, and that's it. And that was fine. Played... That was fine. you got to play the older ones. I'm not doing the that they're all great. It's just about blowing shit out. You want me to play a uh, freaking PlayStation 3 or 2? I'm not doing that. The kid you play, they have the collection on PlayStation 3. Just, just put it yeah, in. Yeah, I'm, this... I'm definitely not playing a PlayStation 3. Oh my God. Okay. I'm Jackbox. Playing PlayStation 2. Jackbox games. Someone doesn't like fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tomb Raider. Okay. We're both in roughly the same boat. Saints Row, same boat. Forza. Basically, the same Final Fantasy. You don't care because it's some nerd yeah, stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. You're learning, Dan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I'm I'm st- <laughs> <laughs> She's Final Fantasy 14 has been her thing. She is way into it. Good for. I played. Um, uh, well, I play a little bit of a lot of them, um, but like none of them are my thing. I, I mean, I like 15 a little bit, but I fell out of it. Yeah. Hard. My yeah, my thing with 15 is that the story starts like the story gets off the rails pretty quick and assumes you've watched like uh, the other like 15 things they did on the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's just too much. It's too much. I just won't play your game. Uh, Tekken and F. I mean, I can't really say anything considering where I put it. Yeah, you can't. Uh, No. So uncharted, this blows my mind. You you know what? Sometimes, sometimes, in my games, I like to do more than press X and occasionally have a shooting gallery. You know what I mean? The gameplay, AJ, the gameplay. AJ, and, games and we'll get, are and, not just and, about gameplay. And we'll get to this. We'll get to this in a little bit because I know you're going to have a problem with that too. Uh, like 90% of Naughty Dog's games, not good on the gameplay end. And if you're not at least like on the bottom level of good, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested wow. even a little bit. Wow. I, this was the one thing on your list that I was going through. I'm like, this is unbelievable. You were just triggered. You were just I, upset. I was, I was upset. I was hurt. And I had to question our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it pains me. We'll move on. But God, I mean, you hurts. could, that hey, you know hurts. what? Bear your soul, you know, because I took a little yeah. bit of time to talk about Pokemon. Do what you got to do. I, you know? Well, I, I mean, it's just. When it comes to the video game storytelling, Uncharted broke so much ground. <clears throat> the problem is, the, the biggest problem is the fourth one, in my opinion, is the worst one because the storytelling is not good. Their pacing sucks. <laughs> that game well, is at least six hours too long. It's the I, worst pacing I have ever seen in any medium ever. <laughs> like They took think- so long to tell that story. It was completely unnecessary. That I game should have been five hours long. I, I think the funniest thing about all of this is like, I was about to go like, you can't judge the whole franchise off of one game. And I realized that's very hypocritical of me yeah. because there's been many that I've yep. been like, oh yeah, this is top tier because of the one game. Even Pokemon, <laughs> even Pokemon, you played like two and a half Pokemon games. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. <sighs> it hurts. Anyway, Mortal Kombat, fine. Twisted Metal, it's not an F, dude. The first two are real fun. It's an F. The first two are so much fun. Dan. You're wrong, but we'll move on. (laughs) Dragon Quest. Okay. (laughs) Crash Bandicoot. Now go ahead and lie through your teeth, Dan. You know, go ahead. No. Let's do do this. Let's you wanna lie? (laughs) You wanna lie on the record? (laughs) I no. Look, here's the thing. Do I think Crash Bandicoot is phenomenal after playing the insane trilogy? No, I don't think it <laughs> reaches the level of perfection of something like Zelda or Mario or basically any other Nintendo platformer. That being said, it's not an F. Yeah, it is. 
it's it not an F because it it's still like one of the most groundbreaking 3D. No, it's not. Who, yes, it who, is. No. It was like no. It was who, so, who modeled their game after Crash Bandicoot? Name me one game that models their platforming off of Crash Bandicoot. Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I I think look, Crash Bandicoot, I yeah, it's not that, that you, great. I it's think not that, that you got screwed over by your brothers picking the PlayStation and you had to dance with the one that brought you, you know what I mean? No, but the thing is is that Crash Bandicoot is like from a completionist aspect is so rewarding. Ah, no, getting all the gems, getting all the crystals, <clears throat> it feels really good to do it. No, no, no. That's like that's like telling me that I should go on Survivor and eat the worms because it feels great to know that you're not eating the worms anymore once they're Well, finished. you want to know something? At least Crash <laughs> Bandicoot offers a level of difficulty that Mario has never been able to. So there you go. It's difficult because it's designed poorly. It's not difficult because it was designed it's, Yes, to the be. first game. The no, first game. The second game it takes a lot of improvements. Yes, ice physics sucks. We'll get over that. But at the I same have, time, I have never died in a Crash Bandicoot game and been like, oh, yeah, that felt like it was my fault. Like, ever, ever, every single time ever? I've died in a Crash Bandicoot ever? game. Ever? Ever. Not even ever? once. Not even Not once. once. Every time I've died Not in a Crash Bandicoot game. something. No. Well, Ever. I'm sorry, I'm not the god of gaming. All right, let's move on. I'm just saying, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot is not designed well. That's all I'm saying. I think it's, I don't think it's perfectly designed, but I think, I think it I offers think... solid gameplay <laughs> and you're just a Scrooge. Ape escape. <laughs> Fine, we'll move on. Let's move up. What's next? D? Yeah. Quake. Okay. Th that That's fine. It's roughly where I put it. Uh, Little Big Planet. <laughs> I can't right. really argue with that. I think you put it. A yeah, little yeah I think I put it there too. Uh, Fable. Yep. Jack and Daxter. I agree with that. Game Infamous Naughty Dog game, you know, <laughs> I just because I like some, some of what. <laughs> okay, Infamous. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll give you that one too. That one's fine. <laughs> that one's fine. Inf Infamous is such a weird game because I was like way into it, and then there was just a point where I'm like, I don't care about this anymore. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls, fair enough. Uh, Street Fighter. That's the one fighting game you put above the others. Yeah. Why? Just because it's designed better, you know? Like, the, the mechanics make more sense to me. Okay. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Kirby, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> yeah, because you know. You know. I, no. You're blinded no. by Kirby no, Superstar, I, Dan. You're blind. Tell me. Tell me I with a straight I face. Never, I have never had a bad time playing a Kirby game. Tell me with a straight face that Kirby Star Allies is worth $60. <laughs> Okay, that I cannot do. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that gives it a D. I think that's a C if you're gonna get if you're gonna be cranky about it. All right, flip me up to the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Sly. Well, we've been over that. Sonic. Okay, about right. Start be lower like, than that, honestly. Honestly, high D. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like a D plus. Yeah. Uh, and then like Star Fox. <sighs> Sure, it's, it's Sonic. It's it's Nintendo Sonic. Yeah, it's and then like Spyro, Pikmin, and Super Monkey Ball. Like I, all the same thing. Keep yeah. going down. Um, Gears of War. I think we had the we had the same on that. Yeah, but you can't look me in the in the <laughs> eyes and tell me that Doom is C. Yeah, I can. Doom You're freaking insane, dude. <laughs> that <laughs> I don't like, know what that. It's like hating your history, man. <laughs> is it? I, see, the thing The thing about it is, I think that you should appreciate that it's even that high. Because I don't care about shooters almost at all. Like, not even a little bit. Like, the amount of times I've played, the time I've been playing mm -hmm. shooters in the, like, collective of my life, I probably played mm -hmm. more, what, Pokemon, freaking Heart Gold, than <laughs> I've played shooters combined. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's still... The thing is, is that out of like out of retro games, Doom and Doom 2 still hold up really well. Yeah, like there are, there are there are there are a few no. games. 
there are a few games from my past that I'll pick up every single time and have an amazing just what is worth, good time. With I would say that the only reason why Doom even made it this high was because of the last game. I thought the last game was really good. The um, last game was phenomenal, and yeah. I th- it, Doom Eternal's shaping up to be. And and unlike you, Dan, unlike you, Dan, I don't give people special privileges just because they had one game that I enjoyed a lot. You know what I mean? I you know? enjoy the entire franchise. I'm not talking about Doom. I'm talking about the rest of your list. <laughs> oh, all right. That's fine. <laughs> like, oh, I played two of these games. They're pretty good S. You know? Just... <laughs> okay. Fine. Whatever. 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 Go up. Donkey Kong. I think we were both on the same page with B. Uh-huh. F-Zero. Fine. Fire Emblem. Can't say anything about it. Banjo, sure we're can. on the same. What? I said you sure can't. You yeah, sure can't. <laughs> uh banjo we're on the same halo the same minecraft not really gonna argue if you've i mean that's high considering you've only played like 25 minutes yeah out yeah. of everything just, just because like i recognize that what it does it does well um it's just mm-hmm. not necessarily something that i want to spend a lot of time doing yeah uh splatoon i get it animal crossing fine see that's the thing they, that's the thing with my list dan that's the thing your list is outrageous. <laughs> my list, my list was bold. I took a bold. I put myself out there, and apparently, people don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue telling me how good my list is. <laughs> Your list is fine. <clears throat> yeah, just like any tier list. Everyone's tier list. No, I'm not trying to hear fine. that because <laughs> transition into the next thing. Uh, I was lambasted on I, Twitter. I was not done. I was attacked. Oh, I was me, not done. You want me to reopen it? Is that what Go you want back. me to do? No, because everything else, I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. are we moving on to this? We're going yeah, to- let's move. Let's move on to this because <laughs> this is. The, I mean, this is the I original. Tweet- one, so we're starting here. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, I tweeted out that I. I fixed your tier list, but in all honesty, like, a lot of your tier I list thought- is not even different. <laughs> no, I. I think like there's nothing I can really argue. <laughs> Too See, much the thing about is, this. like, and th- that's the thing that annoyed me about this tier list specifically. Like, I could understand, and people didn't get mad at my franchise tier list. People were like, "Yeah, you know," but people got yeah. mad at this one, and I'm just like, "What?" Like, because how I rank things, just generally, when I make a piece of content and be like, "This is the top five, whatever," I base it on what it is in a vacuum. So I'm not looking at like somebody uh, DM'd me. Like they were like, "Can I DM you about your list?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, go ahead, go for it." And they're asking me, and they're like, "Like, why isn't uh, what uh, 3ds higher than DS? Because you can play DS games." And I'm like, "I'm looking at the DS library. I'm saying the DS library and what the DS did, like apart from all that other stuff, is better than what the 3ds specifically contributed." Um, right. And that's just like what a lot of this list is where it's like, and it's, it's even removed from the whole thing of like, well, this is the one that I had. And this is the one that I spent a lot of time with because I had all of these and I spent a fair amount of time with all of them. It's just yeah. in hindsight and playing them now, because like at, like my uncle that I was talking about, like he probably prefers playing retro games a lot more than he likes playing modern games that aren't Switch and Wii U, I guess. Um, yeah. But my whole thing with this one was uh, this one in particular, I felt depended a lot more with your experience with it. Right. Growing up, because if I mean, with franchises, we're getting new games. So we're still constantly like rethinking how we feel about the entire franchise is based off of new games. This when when the game when we stopped making Game Boy games, that was the library and it was put away. And it was like, well, did you have a good time playing that? You didn't or you did. Right. That was about it. So for the people to get so triggered on this one, just it, it it's blows. so weird. It's so weird. It's so it's so weird because like I put the game gear high because we had two game gears and we freaking love them. We played them to death. Yeah. And but you're also dumb kids. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm not looking because like even the Wii U, right? Like, I would say I enjoyed the Wii U more than C, but I can't deny what it did wrong. So it's low on the list because of that, because the like the Switch completely replaced it. And it wasn't even a thing of like, or it's not even a thing of just like, oh, well, it got the same games because it got better versions of the same games, you know? 
Yeah, it, it seems like you and me took very different approaches to building this list because I did it from a very I did it from definitely a more personal experience yeah. with them. Right. I, like, and I, I feel like that, I mean, that's that's how most people did it. Right. Um, yeah. And I don't fault them for that. And that's why, like, when I saw other people's tier list, I don't just in general, like, I don't get triggered by other people's tier list because obviously it's a thing of like, this is how I feel about this thing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. cool. You know, that's cool. <laughs> you know, I, I joke around with you and like Bob and stuff like when you guys yeah, do a yeah. tier list and I'm like, oh, that's stupid because blah, blah, blah. But I don't care. You know, like you like the games you like. That's fine. Um, yeah. But at any rate, do your best. <laughs> yeah, all right. Do your best. Well, I mean, OK, so the starting off with just the Genesis and the yeah. Game Gear at the absolute bottom. There's a reason why Sega's not around anymore, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I would I would argue that the Genesis. If, I, I was about to say, if you tell me that Game Gear needs to be higher. No, no, no. Leave the Game Gear at the D. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I th- I do think the Genesis could go up a peg just simply because of what it is and what it like. I need it held its own against. I need, Super Nintendo. I need five games that aren't Sonic that are still worth playing on the on the Genesis. And that that that's ultimately what it all comes down to, right? Exactly. And, exactly. And and that's why I put it so low. <laughs> yeah, I th- I think the problem with with Genesis always kind of was is that it had Sonic, and you knew that name so much that it just blinded you to most of the other games. Right on there, because like I, I, I mean, I can somewhat list a few of them. It's like Sonic, Streets of Rage. Uh, on there, there was also Comic Zone, that was a very beloved game that was actually kind of meh. Um, I feel like, but that's like a lot of the Sega library. Yeah, where yeah. like it, it's just like what I jokingly said about Crash Bandicoot, even though I do think that game trash legitimately. Yeah, I know you do. Um, <laughs> it, it's this thing of like dance with the one that brought you. You know, like you're you're a kid, you can't make financial decisions. You have a Sega Genesis. That's what you have, and you have to like what you have. So therefore, you think that Sonic the Hedgehog is the best thing ever created. Comic Zone is great too. You know, like because that's what yeah, you yeah. have. Yeah, but at the same time, Sega Channel, Sega Channel was super cool it was cool but was it good well i mean it was one of the first delivery service of demos but straight to your system exactly so i would like, argue and i would argue good. that yeah, i would not i don't say i don't think it was bad i would argue that it was good in that it was <sighs> sega was complicated i very like sega always tried to do something that the the market just wasn't ready for <laughs> See, but that's the thing, like, I, I hear that a lot with Sega, but they kind of don't. Like, Nintendo had an equivalent of that, too. It just didn't come out in America because it wasn't good. So they were like, okay, this isn't good. We're not doing this. <laughs> like, yeah, but they... the... yeah, okay. I mean, it's the difference between releasing worldwide and then testing it in a market and going, meh. Exactly. So. Because they knew it wasn't so. good. So they they imported. They're like, no, we're not doing this because it's not good. But Sega's I, like, it's I not did... good, but who cares? People will pay for it. I definitely think uh, that a lot of the a lot of the ideas that Sega had, had they developed it and waited for the right time to launch it, would have done really well. Yeah, I think it, Sega it, Channel, it, it, right, right, and is a great I, example. I agree with that, but a later version of Sega Channel is not what we got. <laughs> we yeah, got right. the half big one, and that's what I'm judging it on. Yeah, all right, uh, okay, and then C. I mean, the Wii U. We we talked about that. That's that's exactly where i think i put it too dreamcast basically the same spot and 64 yeah the n64 is the one that i would have figured you would have put higher i wow. definitely put higher i definitely think that it had between that- it's another one of those things that was like really good in its time because nobody else was doing something like that but i don't give you credit for that you know where it's like yeah because because if uh snes games can still hold up there's no excuse why an N64 can't a game can't hold up. NES even arcade right, games. Right, but to, but to even. put the N64 underneath the NES, mm. to put the N64 underneath the NES, mm. but to put it underneath the NES though, slightly below the NES. I no my it look here's the thing is that if you're gonna drop the N64, it can't go lower than the NES. It wasn't. <laughs> it was not. 
worse than the NES. If anything, they were on the same par as like foundation builders for that, what we would experience like, for the rest of our lives. I don't know. I don't know because there's still a lot of games that like in that form still are coming out now. I mean, based off of how you described yourself building this list, the idea of like the idea of just looking at the library in a vacuum, I understand why you would put it that low, but I do think if you're thinking legacy and what it, like the innovation that it did, I think the N64 is higher. I think the problem with that line of thinking is like, assuming that if the N64 didn't do it, it wouldn't have happened. But I don't think that's true. I think that we were... Well, no, that. no, that, that, that's not the argument. The and argument like, is... To me, the N64 is like the equivalent of like what happened with nintendo with the 32-bit era they just were like eh, now nah, we're not going to do that they just didn't do it because it was like didn't really contribute anything but they did it with 64 where it's like okay yeah we'll beta test 3d you know like and, eh, yeah not. they beta tested 3d and made it work kind of i guess because if it, if, if kind of i guess yeah, kind of, I guess, because if a 3D game came out now, if a, a modern shooter came out came out now with the golden eye mechanics, we would say it was awful. Meanwhile, there's still games now, like Super Mario Maker 2, that are just straight up using mechanics from the early 90s and late 80s. And we're like, this is the best game out right now. You know, like, it's just certain things that don't age well. And the NCC4 did not age well. I see your reasoning. I I do think you're neglecting a lot of what it did for the industry as a whole, but fine. Yeah. I I yeah. just think that it, like that end of it is like time and place more so than the console specifically. It was like that, if the N64 wasn't the thing that did it, it would have been the PlayStation or whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh speaking of PlayStation, that's next. I mean, that makes sense considering you Yep. Considering everything. And plus, PlayStation had like a few standout titles, and that yep. was really kind of <laughs> about it. Uh Xbox, I feel that's that's about where I put it too. Yep. Uh PSP and Although, Vita. Right now, I probably should have put that higher than uh than N64. Probably should put that like, You put the Xbox higher than the N64. Yeah, because that contributed that contributed the same thing that I said about like the platforming situation. Like Halo is pretty much shooters in the way that we play them now sans some call of duty uh specific mechanics oh my god your logic okay i no. mean if, if you just <laughs> I, I did not i deny your chance to move it up i'm not i mean i'm not going to move it up but i'm saying like i think that it contributed something that stood the test of time it wasn't this thing that was like oh well we can we could polish this up a lot and it'll be a good thing. It was just like, yeah, this exists in this way, and like we'll tweak it a little bit, and that's it. All right, fine. All right, fine. Let's move yeah. up. Um, I already got them. You got it. You, you did good. Good, 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 good placement there. Uh, B, we, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, I can I can get on board with that mostly because the massive amount of shovelware. Yeah. Uh PS2. Yeah. B. Yeah. But B though. You're gonna you're gonna put that at B. Yeah. You're, com <laughs> you're comfortable with that. Yes. <laughs> mostly I, because like I can't even think of a PlayStation 2 game that was just on the PlayStation 2 that I would still play now. Time splitters. I can't even think of a PlayStation 2 game that was just on the PlayStation 2 <laughs> that I would play now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't I okay. I don't think Town Splitters was on Xbox and GameCube. They the 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 third one, sure, but the first two were PS2. I don't yeah. tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Apologize. Uh, PS4. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the only I think I may have put PS4 as A just because it's my favorite in the current gen, but yeah. Yeah. Th that's fine. I mean, excluding the Switch, I feel like the Switch is just in its own like beautiful category of amazingness. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> uh, Xbox One, I would put that down. Yeah, because you're sheep and you're just going along with the with the meme. But no, I think no, no, I think the Xbox One is 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 terribly marketed. 
Like yes. there was no thought behind the naming it the Xbox right. one. So it already showed so a what does it had to do with the games, is my question. Okay, what's it have to do with the games? Because they don't have any I don't give a third of an F about the Why? marketing in this. But you have to. You're doing the console. You're doing the whole package. No, I'm doing the console that I played the, in the form that I played it. When I buy a console, I'm not like, oh, I didn't like that one flyer that I saw. So I'm not going to buy this console. Yeah. You know, like, eh. at the time that I bought the Xbox, the Xbox had more exclusive than the PlayStation did. So that's why I bought the Xbox, because that right. had the more. I had more games, which is why PlayStation is higher, but not significantly higher because there's not a exclusive, not a whole lot of exclusives that I personally yeah. care about on the PlayStation. My Xbox basically sits and gathers dust. Yeah, but that's I, because you picked your you picked your thing. You said I like the PlayStation, and that's what I'm going to yeah, play stuff. Yeah, well, me, like you know, I, the majority I of the games that I play on the either one of the like HD twins, we'll call it, even though everything's HD now. Yeah. Um, I pick based on what the console does best. And Xbox is significantly better at online play than PlayStation. Always have been, always will be. That is true. Significantly. That is very so, true. However, happens, my Xbox gets more play time than my PlayStation. My PlayStation can't even connect to the internet. Can't even connect. There is something wrong with your with clearly, your PlayStation. Yeah, clearly. But, but also, the Xbox's is, no, UI is so disgusting. Yeah, but I'm not looking at the UI. I turn the Xbox on. I put the game in, and I'm done. I'm not. I'm not into the whole like Xbox Live, no, PlayStation Network. I cannot you navigate know. that damn thing to save my life. It takes you straight to the game when you put the game in. But I have digital games, AJ. So do I. <laughs> you download the it's game, and it's the thing on top. <laughs> it's the thing on top. Oh my. Okay. Whatever. I can't. It's it's C. I would put it lower. <laughs> PS3. That's okay. That's fine. Not too high. NES. That's fine. Really, really, from this point forward, I really don't have any arguments on any of this stuff. Uh, on my list, I put the uh, GameCube significantly lower, and that's just mostly because I. I mean, we just. I don't know. Nothing really grabbed me about the GameCube. The PS2. The PS2 being above the GameCube is the one thing for me that I'm like. Yeah, but I think I can, it's I, most I legitimately like and this is just PlayStation in general with the exception mm -hmm. of PlayStation 4 um I can't think of exclusives that I would write home about like they don't have IP like Nintendo has IP that I would be like yeah. like even yes Xbox, even Xbox in the in, like up until now um they had Halo they had Fable they had Gears they had Forza something I would say okay yeah this makes sense and this sells tens of millions of copies PlayStation games right. weren't really doing that. The best-selling stuff for PlayStation and what PlayStation was and even still is for a lot of people is third-party games. So, like, if and I'm not huge on a lot of third-party stuff. So, like, if you're not into that, you're not going to really care about what they do. But I mean, I mean, I mean, to that point, I mean, like, I I feel that if I mean, yes, the GameCube had very good gems in it, mm -hmm. but I think. Uh, the PlayStation Two had a better yeah. player game. It, it had, had it had player. more. You you had a better chance of fi of like going to the store, grabbing a random game, and getting a good game on the PS Two than you would the GameCube. If you, like GameCube, if you only pick the if you're only thinking about the Nintendo IPs, then yeah, the thing's an amazing piece of hardware. It is one of the most durable pieces of hardware. Also, got, I don't like I don't know about that. Because the GameCube wasn't the Wii, it wasn't the Wii U, where it was like, is it going to get this game? Like, GameCube got most of the games that PlayStation got. That's why I can't yeah, think but, of a, a, but that a was that was around the time that <laughs> that was around the time that Nintendo started like not really pumping out rated M games. Yeah, but there were still rated M games on the platform. I mean, yeah, there was a few, but they 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 shied away lot, from a lot. Of them. <laughs> like, there was a lot. Just as much as I would say on like the PlayStation, I would say Xbox probably. I would say the, well, yeah, Xbox probably had more. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with your list. You don't got nothing uh, to say about the rest of this. No, I, I. There's a whole, there's a whole lot. Of, there's a whole lot of people very angry about. I my know, list. and they're, <laughs> they're very angry about your top ones, but 
your reasoning for putting the DS above the 3DS is really sound. It makes a lot of sense. I I think the Xbox 360 is definitely one of the best systems to be released. Yeah. Um, and I got in on the, I got in on the S. So like the, the red ring of death that probably would have influenced it more if it like. I, I think I think a few people with the red ring of death really turned them off to the system. But like when you get once also, you it's get a meme. Of the work, Xbox. It's just a meme. Yeah. At this point. Like, yeah. But I don't buy in the memes, Dan. That's why I have never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. Good so, on you. But you that, did play the Fortnite. That's true. But that was for a stream. Uh, did we do yours? Uh, No. We're not going to get to this E3 stuff. People are going to be wanting E3 predictions. They have to go through all of our BS tier lists. I'll do uh, timestamps. I'll look at the yeah thing. Even though I don't think it doesn't tell me on here. Oh, wait. Yes. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me. Okay. Did you send me your? Thing? Yes, I sent it to you on Twitters. Oh, I got to go to Twitter. Look at my... Don't look at our DMs. Don't look at any of this. Don't look at it. You don't want to see all, all the all, all the things we send to each other. All right, here we go. I went a bit you more. Put, you put everything on here. I, I put everything on there. I you can just buy. skip the bottom ones, even though I was I really wanted the Ouya to succeed so hard. These exist. Uh, Grimhain probably had them because Grimhain's old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care about the Ouya at all. I, um, I, I I had a lot of high hope for it, but yeah, it this is tight. true. Only weeps put this on their list. Yeah. Or on their actual list. And I think that's the 3DO that I put in there. I believe that's the 3DO. The 3DO was stupid. <laughs> I was just stupid. Oh, I put it. I've tried it once and it was not a great experience. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even didn't bother. Um yeah, I put the Xbox One at the bottom. Wow. Because you're dumb. I really don't like it. that console. Yeah, you're just biased. I, 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 I don't what care. What does it mean? The, if, if I could take the controller from there and put it in the S tier list, I would do. Like, Xbox One. That's a, I mean, that's a huge reason why I also don't like my PlayStation. I don't like DualShocks. I just don't I like, like that. DualShock 4. I don't like that form factor at all. Like, the yeah. where the analog sticks are stupid. I think the asymmetrical, that, that's another thing that Xbox did right with the, with the 360. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but yeah, moving on. We're just yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, those are some things. Yeah, that happened. Game Watch. I feel like everybody had at least one of these, but I was like, I'm not ranking this. <laughs> I, I honestly, I I don't even think it de- deserved to be on here, but I put it as a C just because legacy reasons. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, clearly, we've talked at length about how you don't care about legacy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got anything else to say about any of this? <laughs> I no, dude. This is now. This is your time to get after me. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, PlayStation Three and C. That's fine. I I mean, for me, PlayStation Three was definitely a thing of like I didn't spend a lot of time playing that, so I didn't really care. Yeah, you know? um, I think I've, that one floats around a B and a C. Just kind of PlayStation Three there. was one of those things that's like. Logan called me. I was like, yo, you should get get a PlayStation 3. We'll play all these games on it. And then I bought a PlayStation 3 and we didn't play anything almost. (laughs) I was like, eh, that my experience with that was like, whatever. I had Grand Theft Auto 5 on that, didn't finish it. Um, Mm -hmm. Xbox. Sure. Uh, GameCube, you're stupid. You're an idiot. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Very dumb. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how. What? Like, what? What? (laughs) On the B? What? <laughs> like, my look. Here's the thing: is I I had, I still have a PSP, and I love the hell out of that thing. Like even like some of the obs- I got this really obscure ti- like launch title game. I can't remember the name of it, but I had a really good time with it. I don't know. I I I do think that maybe I I probably should have put the Vita down one, but PSP was definitely. Like that, you have to beat it entirely too high for somebody that did this memory down here. Like, if uh-huh. we're doing memes, you got to put the Vita down below even that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No. I'm just saying, I'll put it Dan. C. I'll put it C. 
even that is extremely too high. You should have put an F. You need an F on this list. Nah, nah. <laughs> you should have been on that. Um, no, but, you gotta I mean, make the F's the fun ones. Same thing, same thing for these. Uh, for most of PlayStation's library, I can't think of notable games that are just on this. Can't do it. No. So it's like, why do they exist? <laughs> uh, Wii U, too high, but I'll allow it. Uh, Dreamcast, too high, but I'll allow it. <laughs> no, no, no. Do what? No, I like. I I think about that now. I'd probably put that too high. Yes, you did. Um, also, yeah. something that like Dan and my uncle that I was talking about fight me on to this day. Uh, I mean, that Bob. Did I say Dan? I don't know who I said. Uh, yeah. But they fight me on this all the time. The controller is trash. It's just above the N64 controller. Form factor that? Go um, you know, I'd have to hold one again. It's trash. I, I do not think it's as trashy as you think it is. I, I think it is. I've used I, a Dreamcast controller in 2019, and it is not good. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, know, my uncle loves retro games. Every time I'm over his house, that's what we're playing. We're going to play Dreamcast at least once. So, like, wow. I have a very recent right. memory of what of Dreamcast controller feels like, and it does not feel good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly, it's been so long since I've held a Dreamcast controller, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, PlayStation. Again, it's a, a thing of like I can't even think of a notable game that's not garbage. Um, well, yeah, but apparently, according to you, everything's garbage. So let's move on. There. That's not true. I have a whole list, Mister 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 Cynic- Mr., Mr. Purist Nintendo fanboy. I guess. <laughs> if I was a Nintendo fanboy. Everything would have been. Holy Nintendo. shit! Whoa, that shook the desk. Rip, dude. Rip. Oh my. That's Pikachu. He's mad that you only you only play four Pokemon games. Yeah, uh, that actually probably struck nearby us. Oof. Oof. Wow. It was sunny and bright, like <laughs> literally. And when we started this podcast, it was bright, sun was shining, and then slowly over this entire thing, hell has all broken loose. Because your list is blasphemous. Um. <laughs> yeah. This being pre- <laughs> are you kidding me? Like yeah. No, I stand by it. I stand by it. I stand by it. I I stand by it. Me stand by. I stand by it. You're crazy. Um, I'll allow it. Too high. Yeah. Um, what? (laughs) You'll never understand me. You'll never understand me, AJ. You're not my real dad. No, that one that that's a that's a pure personal, completely biased pick. The thing had 3D glasses, which is pretty cool. <laughs> You're insane. That's uh, fine. I'll allow it. Um, I'll allow it. Even though this definitely should have been higher. It should have should have been. Higher. What the one tier it could have possibly gone up? Yeah, been, yes, one hundred percent. The DS is an S tier thing, without question. Oh God. Period. Point blank. Period. Uh, Game Boy Advance, I'll allow it. Mm-hmm. No, this that's is... enough. You'll never understand me. No, no, this this belongs down, 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 down. No, not and that low. Well. Right that next well. to you. I'll um, put it at. I'll give you B, but no lower. No, it's definitely not a B. Game Boy, I like blasphemy that it's right next to Game Gear. Like what the. You're insane. No, um, no, you're insane. No, you're insane. Uh, you're, you're no, insane. no, you're insane. Um, PlayStation Four, I'll allow it. Um, even though, like, eh, whatever, dude. What? <laughs> I put the Atari A because of legacy, ah, and I know you do not all. factor that into we, anything. We fine. N sixty four, you're stupid. Um, <laughs> Xbox, yes. This this is where you you got that one right, Dan. Um, yeah, good. This one right too, even though like maybe it's too early to put it above Xbox. I don't know. I think I put it above Xbox, but maybe it's too no. Early. You put it on the same tier. Yeah, I know I put it on S, but I'm saying above. I don't know, but I'd probably put it there. I don't know. Oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't order these in specific. I, uh, oh, oh, PlayStation, okay. PlayStation Two. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. <laughs> I'll allow S and yes, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. 
that's fine. So right, I now, think, we, now we can talk about E3. <laughs> I, 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 one thing I think we could all take, uh, what I think I learned here today is that I might be a little bit of um, a PlayStation fanboy and you might be a little bit of a Nintendo fanboy. I the Last of Us in S tier, Dan. That's one game. <laughs> that's the only PlayStation game that I could think of that is worth playing. <laughs> There's so much more to op- God of War. Okay, just God of War. I think, I think that there's something there with the newest game. Like yeah, I the- definitely the newest game and what they're gonna do with it. I think there's a lot. To right, it. right, right. And that's see, that's the thing though. Like you didn't have a lot of franchises on it. Like if you would have put Bloodborne, like even though that's not a franchise, I would yeah. say Bloodborne's an S tier game. I love Bloodborne. I love Spider Man. Yeah. Of Horizon Zero Dawn. There's PlayStation games I like. You just don't got them on there. And I mean, I don't fault you for that because they're not. I mean, for one, they're not uh, franchises. And yeah, to me, honestly, I think that PlayStation is just now getting into the swing of things of having worthwhile exclusives. Um, I think that a lot of their stuff just didn't age well. And I think that that's even like that's underscored by the fact that like something like the PlayStation Classic, no matter how much they fumbled on a lot of the games that they had on there, didn't succeed because we all know Nintendo fumbles a lot of like ancillary stuff, but they succeed in spite of that because they have no Mario, they have Pokemon, they have franchises that are legitimately good. And that's why people like them so much. Not just because like, oh, it's Nintendo, blah, blah, you got this like, because again, like. I think a lot of the like the stuff that you ranked in certain places was because like you either didn't have that or like you didn't play it as much. But I had all these things and I played all of them a lot. It was just, <laughs> like that's what made me not like it because I played it so much and I'm like, Crash Bandicoot is not fun. <laughs> like just stuff like that. Um, I, you want to know something? That's the one thing, and I never understand because as we talk about Crash Bandicoot and like how it is just not very it. well crafted. No, I've acknowledged this after I played Insane Trilogy. I'm like, this game makes me so mad. I don't remember it being so clunky. Why do I still love this Same with like every fiber of my soul? The reason why people love Sonic is what you grew up with. Um, and I think that like Mario benefits a lot from that, but also Mario's good. So like it has the twofold thing of like it being designed well, but it also has the nostalgia factor. Yeah. I mean, um, the only regret I have. Is probably putting Super Mario in eight here. Yeah, you're stupid. Um, <laughs> you should have more regrets than that. Um, yeah. So E3. I the, I mean the main reason why I wanted to like go on uh, longer with the tier list stuff is because I don't have a whole lot to say about like the nitty gritty of E3. You know, because sure. a lot of this stuff is like eh, they're probably going to do this. They're probably going to do this. Blah blah. blah. Um, which is why I'm probably just going to name and like theme this around the tier list situation. And then we also mm-hmm. talked about E3. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like, do you have any concrete stuff for like what you think is going to happen at E3? I mean, the I think the one big thing that we're all kind of curious about is Xbox bringing new hardware, right? Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and I, I, I think because so, Sony's not going to be there for an actual pref cro- press conference which means they're going to do the nintendo route of probably just a state of play right that's i think confirmed. that they just straight up not doing anything i i, I tried oh. to find a oh, okay here we go so, they, yeah they, they did a state of play um but it was for like the final fantasy 7 oh remake. yeah no they're 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 doing absolutely nothing there yeah. that's i mean that's why they've been announcing stuff where it's like um they announced or kind of announced the playstation 5 where it's like yeah. it does this and it has ray tracing because they want to steer the like the conversation in their direction before nobody cares. Um, yeah. But I mean, they're just going to retain hype because the PlayStation is just the thing that people play third party games on now. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to hurt them. That I much. yeah. I, I mean, the thing is, is like they might also have nothing to show be, beyond like any Death Stranding stuff or Last See, of Us Two. Another thing. This is another problem with like, and this is more of a recent year thing. This is another reason why I like PlayStation because I hate their marketing strategy. That didn't factor <laughs> into like their like their marketing is garbage, but people just eat it up. The fact that they announce literally their pitch meetings, they're like, "Oh yeah, let's make another God of War game." Now let's announce it at E three though. Like they they yeah. like announce their games entirely too far out. 
And that's why they don't have anything because they, they realize like, oh, shoot, we already used all that stuff. We already talked about that. We hear about Spider-Man for three, three straight because they announced it too early. Like, I'm so happy yeah. that you did this year. And I mean, to, to your point with like talking about, you know, PS4 is the place where people play their third party games. If their entire library is mostly made out of third party stuff, those announcements have already started going out. Mm -hmm. Like there's there's so many like we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare re reboot mentioned Death Stranding just released a trailer like they have no con they have no cards to hold close to their chest to be like, oh, but this, though, yeah. and they, they probably don't have the right. The PS5 is probably just not in a place where they can show it yet. I think it probably is, but I, I think? legitimately think that they feel like that strategy is catching up with them. Cause like last year was a, was a, um, a result of that strategy of them announcing mm -hmm. their games too far out. Cause everybody's like, we saw all this already. Like, why do we need another Spider-Man trailer? You know, like that. Yeah. that it, it, it's just a bad, bad strategy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all all things considered, it's probably best that PlayStation does sit this out and put and decide whether they want to come back to E3 with a bigger lineup to really be like, here's the PS5 and here are the like, like six games that we're planning to get on launch day that will inevitably be delayed anyway. Right. Yeah. So which is like that that's another thing that frustrates me because they, they're they like they do this whole technicality thing where it's like oh we don't delay our games it's because you never give your games dates that's the only reason why we don't get plays is because they announce the game and they're like still in development and then we don't get a date until what two years later and then we right. get a date and then it still gets delayed you know like it just yeah like, then it gets delayed like five more months it's crazy it's insane yeah it's I, I definitely think Microsoft is definitely the one Xbox to watch. Has, I think Xbox has some stuff. I think Xbox is probably going to win E3. And again, yeah. it's coming from Nintendo fanboy, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think Microsoft I, is going to win E3. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going to come out with new hardware. There's no way that Nintendo's going to turn around and be like, oh, yeah, here's the Switch 2. I don't think with... Nintendo likes talking about hardware at E3. Anymore. No, I don't think so. Um, they, what I'm seeing around, I guess the rumor mills or no, what they said, they, they're going to have 14 first party Xbox games. You know what I think? I think what? we're going to see Banjo in some form. Um, you think I'm hoping if we see Banjo and they announce it there. I think Banjo is going to be a Smash Brothers character. So that's a combined prediction. That's oh, a, like, interesting. Nintendo prediction. Um, also, I think that if they do announce something along those lines, like a platformer, whether it be like a con conquer, which I, I doubt, but like more mm -hmm. like a rare platformer thing, I could see them putting that on Switch and it also on Xbox. Yeah, definitely. Well, then it wouldn't be part of the 14 exclusives, would it? Eh, I don't know. Because <laughs> like yeah. they define their exclusives in a strange way. Because like, what if this game is a Game Pass exclusive, you know? And then they put yeah. Game Pass on on Switch. That'd be dope. I'd be totally down for Game Pass on Switch. Yeah, I think we're going to get it. Um, the other thing they said that they're working on a like an Uncharted like game. Hopefully, it has better gameplay. Um, but they're, <laughs> they're working on like an Uncharted like game. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think we'll see that. Uh, I think we'll see Fable. For better you, you think? Better or worse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I mean we're definitely what well, we're definitely gonna see Gears of War five. Yeah. We're definitely gonna see Halo Infinite. Right. Well, I don't know. I don't know, because I don't know what that game is. That and that's the thing, is I think they're gonna define what Halo Infinite is a mm -hmm. bit more. Is it Halo six or is it is it the infinite like it's half like a reboot? Which they kind of need that. Yeah, yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um I bet you I bet you Borderlands oh, 3 will uh, pop up there. You think so? Do they not already have a marketing deal with somebody? Like is it a, like do they what, what are they 
what are they under? This 2K games, so it wouldn't be EA or EA is not in this. It's going to be 2K, but I mean, like, yeah. do they have a marketing deal with like PlayStation or because you know usually a big. Well, they yeah. they said that they're bringing Borderlands to E3 if they're going to do any announcement or show any extra gameplay. Chances are it will be at the Microsoft show. Could because be that's the you, that's the only place. Yeah, the PC one. <laughs> yeah, it could be. At the, hey, could be at the PC gaming show. Could be at Nintendo. <laughs> it, it, um, that would be awesome. I'd be all for that. Um, but no, that's not going to happen. It's not coming. I I think that their their whole thing is like we'll do something. You know, like we'll get Borderlands two on yeah. Switch. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't care about Borderlands three. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Talk about it all next month. It's fine. It's, um, <laughs> it's long, but it's fine. <laughs> um, how many of these fourteen games do you think will be new IP? I mean, you got to think that it's got to be a good chunk of it. Um, I mean, fourteen games. Yeah. So we already so there's the Uncharted type, right? Game. Then um, working on an RPG, which I I assume is Fable. Matter of fact, I think it's confirmed that uh, Turn Ten, I think, is working on Fable, which is weird because oh. they make like those games. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I mean, I gotta say, out of all of them. I can think just under half, maybe like five or six, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I like I, I'm trying to rack, like go through my head thinking of fran of Xbox franchises that would be exclusive. And I mean, we are we know Halo Gears. Forza. Potentially Fable, Fable Forza. It's Forza he is stupid. No, I'm joking. Whatever. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, I. I got to imagine that maybe even half of them are new IPs. Yeah. Cuz I mean it definitely sounds like like with Phil Spencer, he's like a video game fan. Like he's really into like the other two guys and he sees what PlayStation does and he sees why people like PlayStation and he's like I want that, you know. Yeah. And obviously like Nintendo, like that's why Nintendo exists. They're Disney. Like their systems yeah. don't matter. Their IP matters, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that they want a little bit of that too. They want people when they think Xbox more than just Master P Master Chief comes to their head. Yeah, they they want. We're going back into the second mascot mascot war. Yeah, that's what the next generation is gonna be. Except like I feel like Xbox doesn't really care about that. Like they're they're like yeah. redefining what console, what all that stuff is like console generations uh the the like relationships between the ecosystems and stuff like that because yeah. their business model is different like everybody looks at them like oh xbox is losing blah blah and it's like are they though like xbox is positioning themselves in a way that they just get everybody's money <laughs> like well, it's yeah especially over the last like two years you've definitely seen this shift where it's they're they're playing a different game that's not what the rest of the industry or like what we're used to where it's like that's Xbox, that's Sony, and that's that's Nintendo, and they all fight each other. Right. Now Microsoft's kind of go seeing that cross play is becoming more of a desired thing, and they're starting to kind of sow the seeds of getting people to be like, you knew cross play. Just remember that we started it. <laughs> yeah, and they're also like, what if we could get Nintendo fan money? <laughs> What if yeah. we could get some Sony fan money? You know, like they don't care about that. Like they're making money. They saw Minecraft and they're like, wait, wait, we're onto something here. You know? Yeah. So, so what? Here's my question: What do you what do you think they're gonna name the new Xbox? I don't think it matters, honestly. I uh, think that I, like a, a lot of people get hung up on like like the Wii U's name, right? And they're like, that's why it failed because the name. I don't think the name matters as long as the thing is good because like names are stupid you know like the we had a dumb name and everybody's like yeah. this name is dumb 100 million units later you know like the value proposition was there and that's what matters most yeah. um, well the thing I, is i i do think the name's a bit more important for microsoft just because it's still gonna be like nintendo with the switch they're they're in this other market that these other guys can't touch right now unless that's what these new consoles are going to be like um, but like right now, it's still very much like Microsoft versus Sony and a dumb name will change 
change some opinions. Yeah, but I don't think that the bulk of the people are going to do that, you know? Like, Maybe not the I, bulk, I think but... I think there's going to be some elitist people that are like, that's a dumb name, you know? Like, Xbox 360 is a stupid name, but it's still one in America, you know? Yeah, right, but I would argue that Xbox One is the worst possible name you could have given your third generation console. Yeah. Well, I think, and, I think you was probably the, the worst one <laughs> that you can give. Your, I, well, I mean, because Xbox I, One had rationale to it. Like they they talked about like why it was called that, and like it. The only reason why we look at it like it's dumb is because we have like this expectation for what numbers mean. Where it's like, oh, it's one, so that means it's the first one. Whereas they're saying like it's your one. It's the one that you have. That's what you do everything on. It's this. Right. Right. And. Like, I mean, I get that, but also at the same time, like, you got to understand a bit of the culture of knowing that, like, oh, yeah, the original PlayStation, most people call it the PS1. Xbox, that first Xbox, people were calling that the Xbox One. Right. And then when you come in and then you make your third generation, you're kind of like stealing the name from the original Xbox. It's... It's just, it sounds silly, like, but there there the is world, something behind it. New new Nintendo 3DS XL, new Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo DS XL, <laughs> Nintendo DSX DSI XL. You know, like I, I, and, okay, that's a fair point. But. And like the DS is freaking 155 million units later. You know, like I I really don't think names matter that much. I think that the name added to the like the the bad will that they had going on uh but for the most part i think i think the name is the least of their problems I, well i definitely think going but i don't think that, gonna, like a lot of people are like calling it xbox two or whatever they're not going to call it that because no again xbox one had a meaning like i know that everybody yeah. wants to team around it and stuff like that but they had thought behind like why they called it that. yeah yeah xbox and two just doesn't make sense with that rationale if that's no, what it, they want no like any rationale like what what marketing could you think of that's like why would they call it xbox 2 Th there's 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 no reason to call it xbox 2 it would only confuse people more because like even though the xbox 360 was the second xbox there's still this kind of mentality of like oh that's the xbox 2 oh oof i heard that one Oh no, I think he dropped out. Welp, I guess that's the end of that. Uh, maybe we'll talk about E3 again next week. <laughs> uh, I guess Parker's going to be on this episode. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. At least we got the tier list stuff done. Thanks for listening and or watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.